Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can disable a command button or a button that you have a user click and the button will not re-enable until your macro runs, until whatever code that you've created is, is executed. So let me go on and show you how to get that started. I'm not going to use a user form, although we can. I'm going to use a command button inside a worksheet. If you were to follow this, follow these instructions using a user form, by all means you could do so. In case you're not sure how to create a user form, that's just going to Visual Basic and then going to the Insert User Form option and then drawing out the user form. In this case, all I did was place a command button here, but I won't be using this. I'm going to close this out. And in the command button one, though, I'm currently in design mode, developers tab. I'm going to double click my command button. And I'm going to do a very simple do loop, but to get started, what you want to first do is disable the command button. So you get the name of your button. Mine's command button one. It's going to be command button one dot enabled is equal to false. And then what I'm going to do is do a real quick do loop. I'll put a is equal to zero, do, do events, a is equal to a plus one. I'm going to do command button one dot caption is equal to a, loop until a is equal to, I'm going to put 20,000, and then command button one dot enabled is equal to true. And right before that, I'm just going to put message box process complete. This is a very simple macro, but this is very useful. That way it prevents the user from double clicking the command button. This would be where your code is going to go, your, your macro. All this is doing is first disabling the command button, runs the code, puts a little notification saying that the process is completed, and then it will then enable the command button. So let's give this a, give this a try. I'm going to go on and close this out, take ourselves out of design mode, and click that command button. So right here we see it counting to 20,000 but the button is disabled, can't click it, and it says process complete. Once I hit OK, that command button should be re-enabled. And there you have it. Now, of course, I'm not going to recommend that you change your command button caption. You can. There's nothing wrong with that. But just at the very end, when you do re-enable it, just change the button caption back to your original caption, which may have been start or whatever it may be. But just so we can give one more demonstration on that, I'm going to click it. I can't click the command button right now because it's disabled. I'm clicking right now. It does nothing. And then once you hit OK, it re-enables with a new caption. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching.